everyone. I'm sorry about the delay and sorry about the heating. It's on at the back, but don't all rush away. Um, I have a special notice this morning. The um, Lincoln Ch Churches Trust sent me an email only on Thursday with the order form for their Christmas card and there was an apology from the secretary of it because of its lateness but he has been ill. They're, the same cards as last year, they haven't produced any more, they're using up their stock. They're still £2.50 for a packet of six plus postage. If no one is interested Will I'll understand because it is late, but I've left the poster at the back of the church and a piece of paper for you to put your name down and choice of card if you're interested. So you can do that after the service. <coughs> so let us begin our service with the hymn Praise My Soul. So let us greet one another as members of God's family. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanks. 
to bring before him the needs of the world, to ask forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace, that through his Son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Amen. O Lord, our Lord, your greatness is seen in all the world. Your praise reaches up to the heavens. Before the mountains were made, or before you had even formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The Lord our God is worthy to receive glory and honour and power, for he has created and redeemed us. And now our second hymn is King of Glory. <coughs> Day, Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive 
and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. And can we have our first reading, please? I had I had a feeling this was going to happen. It's right next to you, Margaret. Sorry? It's right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The first reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 23. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks to you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you, know, may, you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of, my, of your heart may be enlightened, in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the name, is the, is the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. Far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet, and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. This is the word of the Lord. And now I know it's done. <coughs> The second reading is taken from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, beginning at the 31st verse. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not take care of you. 
Then he will answer them, Truly, I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. This is the Gospel of Christ. As I mentioned at the beginning of this service, we are celebrating the festival of Christ the King. Today is the culmination of the Christian year. Next week we will beginning we will be beginning again with the first Sunday of Advent when we make preparations for the coming of the Christ child into our lives. And then, all through the year, with our readings and our worship, we follow the life of Christ from his birth through to Easter and his execution. But we remember that in our creed we say, on the third day he rose again and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And it is that kingdom and that king that we are remembering today. I've chosen four hymns that reflect the kingship of Christ, but this next one, we sang quite recently, is the King of Love, my Shepherd. The, that um, part of Christ that we all like to consider, that he is the loving shepherd of his sheep. So let us stand now to sing the King of Love.
with our praise, O Lord, accept these gifts which we bring to you in love and gratitude and use them for the good of your church. Please remain standing and we will say our creed, which I forgot to do. Do you believe and trust in God, the Father, who made all things? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed the world? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? who gives life to the people of God. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Now if we exchange peace, you can warm up a little bit moving around.
offered to him already. And so, can we settle down for our prayers? Our prayers for this day, Christ the King. This Jesus, dying by crucifixion between criminals, is the anointed King of creation in whom all things are reconciled. <coughs> Through Jesus our King, let us pray. As we celebrate Jesus, the head of the church, we pray for all the members with their various gifts and ministries. We pray that even our weaknesses can be used to your glory and for the good of our Christian brethren. And I say we worship God and please will you reply, Christ is his image. We worship God, Christ is his image. May all monarchs and heads of state be led in ways of truth and righteousness. We pray for world leaders who are working together to try to bring about a settlement between Israel and Palestine. We pray that they keep cool heads in the face of provocation and are ever mindful of the safety of mankind. We pray for His Majesty King Charles and his consort Camilla, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and other members of the royal family. And we pray that they recognise with humility that they are called to serve. We pray for all rescue workers, members of Médecins Sans Frontières, and all who work to save the lost souls of our society. We worship God. Christ is his image. May we reach out to one another with love and understanding. We pray for our homes, our relatives, our neighbours and our friends. And especially we pray for those who have not yet realised the extent of God's love for them. We worship God. Christ is his image. May those who have been scattered far from their homes and are living among strangers find happiness and peace once more. We pray for those who suffer from chronic illness and depression and who are only known to us, to you. We pray for those who have asked for their prayers. We pray for Irene Wilson, Jean Smith, Peter Robinson, Jane, Janet Emerson, Pauline Gainsborough, Peter Gallagher, Cyril Foster, Joan Lee, Elvina McMorton, Joan Woodall, Sylvia Kitchener, Margaret Berman, Paul Willerton, Marjorie Gainsborough, and Olivia Atkinson. We worship God. Christ is his image. We pray for those who are close to death, that they know that you are close to them, and that those who mourn their loss know for certain that your kingdom stretches across, across both sides of death. We pray for the family and friends of Julian Kidd, Betty Whittingham, Norman Spencer, and Anne Waddingham. We worship God. Christ is his image. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving as we realise once more the extent of your love for us all. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us rededicate ourselves to God. All through this week, our Father, help us to know you better and to make you better known by doing what pleases you and giving ourselves for the service of others. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And let us say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen. And now we sing our last hymn, Jesus Shall Reign. <laughs>
Celtic benediction. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the sun of peace to you. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. <coughs>